Welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed and in this video I'm going to show you how your users are bypassing your network content filtering service to access websites that you would have normally had blocked using your content filtering. So let's just do a quick demonstration. Here on Bing I did a search for free web proxy and if I click on the first link it's going to show me that proxy.org has been blocked by our content filtering service in this case on the sonic wall because we have selected the category to block the proxy avoidance systems. If we go back to our listings here we have proxy.org If we go ahead and click on that you can see the website comes up with no problem gives us a list of all the different uh, proxies that it has available so we'll click on proxify.com and once again you can see now that the user is on the proxy web client now normally our content filtering service would have blocked this website but here's the main problem the website is using an HTTPS protocol instead of HTTP so most of your content filtering services that you have available will only block HTTP traffic because it can decode the header and it can actually see the content of that data when we use HTTPS there's actually a secure connection that happens in between the server and the client the sonic wall is not able to read that information to decrypt the header and understand what website the user is going to now sonic wall does have a solution for this and it's called the DPI SSL service in short this service will allow the sonic wall to act as a proxy in between the client and the server for that secure HTTPS connection so that it can decrypt the information so let's go ahead and show you an example of how that works okay now that we have the DPI SSL service enabled on the sonic wall it's going to start proxying our HTTPS connections so once again we'll just go through our list of links that we had previously again the proxy.org is being blocked because it's an HTTP website and we've selected the proxy avoidance category so that the user can't use it and if we go to our once again this website's using HTTPS and if we go ahead and click on that link we'll see that the sonic wall has blocked access to that website and if we take it one step further now let's try to access the Proxify website directly using the HTTPS protocol. We can see again the Sonic Wall has blocked access to it. Okay, I hope you found this video useful and have a better understanding of how your users are able to bypass your content filtering service using it in HTTPS service website and that you can also implement on the Sonic Wall the DPI SSL service that will proxy those connections and allow you to control what websites the user has access to. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below and have a great day.